Hi everybody, it's Amanda and um, this is going to be um, just um, a small short video on some things that I recently got from ELF. I am absolutely in love with ELF Cosmetics. Um, for the money, what you're getting is absolutely amazing. Um, I just love the products for the money. You just can't, you really can't go wrong. You know, if you want a budget, which let's face it, after Christmas a lot of us are, um, you know, it's great. So anyway, I thought I'd show you just, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, just bear with me a sec, seven products, okay? So first of all, I'm going to start with the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation. I've got it on at the moment and I absolutely love it. It is brilliant it's from the studio range i believe it's called the elf flawless finish foundation um you're getting doesn't say how much you get in there i've got the color caramel i think it is it's spf 15 oil free but i can't see anywhere that says how much is in there but anyway um i love this foundation because it's a nice um you know, the, the way they've, they've put it in this particular packaging, um, the bottle. This is like glass. Then you've got your top on there. And then you've got this absolutely amazing pump action, which is brilliant because sometimes you can get foundations that are good, but they haven't got a pump on. And I find that you tend to waste a lot of product um, if you haven't got a pump on. So I love this and you're getting a quite a good decent size, I'd say normal standard size of most foundations. Um, the actual coverage of it is brilliant. As most of my followers will know, I've got freckles. It's covered up my freckles. I put it on with um, a slightly damp sponge. Um, the coverage is absolutely amazing. It's creamy, it's slightly dewy. Um, the texture is brilliant. I just can't fault it for the money. You know, I mean, I honestly would personally would put this on a par to some of the MAC foundations. <coughs> Excuse me. Makes your skin look sort of dewy and fresh. And I absolutely love this. It lasts all day. It doesn't seem to budge or slip like some foundations do throughout the day. Um, and I, I just absolutely love it. So I would highly, highly recommend the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Right, moving on. Um, I also got two brushes. Um, I actually didn't want this. I must have clicked on the wrong brush. But this is the, a lip brush. Just from the normal range. Not bad though. Not bad for, I think they're a pound or something. And then this is a crease brush, which is brilliant. I've actually used this today with the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette that I just did a video on, which hopefully will be uploaded shortly. And this is the brush. It's great because you can get in to that crease and you can blend. And again, for the money, it's just crazy. I also got um, a lipstick, which again I'm wearing at the moment, which is called Runway Pink. It looks like this. Gorgeous, pretty colour. Um, and it's got a nice, it's got a nice sort of fragrance to it. It's almost, smells sort of like minty. Over the top of that, I've put this Elf Conditioning Lip Balm. Um, I think this was in the colour Nude. I can't see that there's a colour. That's the only thing with Elf. They don't seem to put the colours anywhere on the, on the packaging. Odd. But this is a nude colour and it is lovely. You know, you, you imagine some lip balms as be not giving off sort of much colour. But this, these are amazing. They do a range of different colours. That's the nudie one. 
and what I've done is I've just put it on top of the runway pink lipstick and it gives you just a natural sort of pretty sort of colour so I love that as well um, I also got a blush in what's this one again there's no nothing on to that's the only thing that lets them down there's nothing on to say what colour it is I think this was golden coral or something like that um, and it's this beautiful true colour isn't showing up but it is like a sort of coral I can't remember what it's called I know it's something coral have a look on the studio line anyway I like the studio line blushes it's really really pretty gives a really nice um, colour to the cheek and this, I've got to say, I absolutely love. I've got this on today on my cheeks. It's a very sort of subtle um, colour and it's a massive, a massive, um, you're getting a lot for, for your books in here. This is called, um, this is Heartbreaker and it's from the um, studio line and it's the elf cream blush so this is heartbreaker and i wasn't sure about this but i absolutely love it but it is quite more expensive than the other products at six pound fifty but you are getting a lot of products and this is going to last a long time now what this is is yes it's a cream blusher but how you imagine such a cream blushes to normally be like the mac ones for example or the nyx ones um are very sort of creamy and you put them on and they're they've got sort of they make your skin look very dewy which sometimes if you've got sort of um, oily, um, sorry, um, greasy skin doesn't look that that good throughout the day. If that makes sense. Whereas this is a cream blush, but it dries like um, like a powder. It's really weird. That's what it looks like. Okay. So that's what it looks like, and. It's almost like, it's been described as being like um, Play-Doh. It's very, you stick your finger in it, just like, it's really weird, but you've still got your colour on there, see? And then I'll just do a, just do a bit of a swatch. I'm not sure if that's going to show up, because it's very subtle, but it, you pop this on your cheeks, just like this. You can put it on with a sponge or you can stipple it on. And it just gives a pretty sort of natural glow. This would be lovely in the summertime, I would, I would imagine. But it is unusual. It's different. They do do um, different colours again if you go on there and, and have a look. But um, I absolutely love it. And I think it's worth the money. That's one of the most expensive things on there, but even at 650 for the size that you get in. Um, I believe it's I think it's cheaper in the States for some reason. But anyway, those are the goodies that I got for mouth. Wearing them all today, apart from the eyes, which I've got the Naked 2 palette on, which I've already done a video of, which I've already told you about, so that will be uploaded soon. And that's everything for now. If you've got any questions, please ask and thanks for watching. Bye.